السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله خالق الوجود من العدم وجاعل النور من الظلم مخرج الصبر من الألم فملك التوبة على الندم فنشكره على المصائب كما نشكره على النعم ونصلي على رسوله الأكرم للشرف الأشم ونور الأتم والكتاب المحكم وكمال النبيين والخاتم سيد ولد آدم الذي بشر به عيسى بن مريم ودعا لبعثته إبراهيم عليه السلام حين كان يرفع قواعد بيت الله المحرم فصلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى أتباعه خير الأمم الذين بارك الله بهم كافة الناس العرض منهم العجم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I would just like to start by saying I shouldn't be up here. Um, you know, the people who speak here regularly are much more well-versed in Tazkiyah and these topics than I am. Um, so, you know, they're really the ones to take benefit from. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I was given the opportunity to share some things with you today, so I'm up here. Uh, as they say, fake it till you make it. So may Allah accept uh, what I have to share. Uh, so I was asked today to share the story of the acceptance of Islam of Huwait ibn Abdul, Abdul Uzza radiallahu anhu. And what kind of person was Huwait ibn Abdul Uzza radiallahu anhu? He was one of the elites, the elders of the tribe of Quraysh during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa He was one of the leaders of this tribe and he was one of the people who in fact participated in the Battle of Badr against the Muslims. You know, he took up arms to fight against the Muslims in the Battle of Badr. And in this battle, he relates that I could, you know, I, w I wasn't the type of person who enjoyed fighting and I could see the, the, ch the, the way the Muslims were fighting and the way they were being helped. I knew that there was something special about these people. You know, I didn't say anything at the time because there was a lot of social pressure and, you know, the, I was an elder and I couldn't, but I felt that there was something different about these people. But I hid this for a long time. And then he was also one of the people who was engaged in the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. Um, you know, the, the events that happened at Hudaybiyah are a whole, you know, there's a, a whole lot of literature about them. But suffice it to say, he was one of the people who was negotiating on, the, on behalf of the Quraysh. He was one of the people who was involved in setting those terms which were very, very unfair against the Muslims. And he was involved in making these, in de these decisions and making these negotiations. And even he relates as he was making these negotiations, the Quraysh were very happy the Muslims are going home. But I knew that, there was, that this was actually going to turn around and help the Muslims. He still had this, um, this, this affection towards the Muslims in his heart. So he was one of these, these is one of the, this is the type of person he was where he was actively working against the Muslims. And yet still, you know, we can learn how he, how he came to this religion. So he says that, you know, once the Muslims came and they conquered Mecca, obviously there was a lot, were a lot of uh, political enemies who were, the pro who were being executed by the Muslims as part of the cleansing of the Kaaba and the cleansing of the city. So when Rasulullah came into Mecca, Huwait uh, ibn was terrified. He was worried that he was going to be one of the people. Obviously, I was involved in working against the Muslims. I'm going to be a target. So he hid his family in different places. He himself went to hide in an orchard of one of his friends belonging to the clan of Auf, which was a people of Quraysh. And then he narrates that one day, Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu, who was a good friend of mine, he found me in this orchard and he came up to me. And as soon as I saw him, I started to run away because I was afraid. And Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu asked him, he stopped him, why are you running away? And Huwait ibn Radiyallahu Anhu replied, I'm afraid. And Abu Dhar calmed him by saying, you have protection from Allah, I'm not going to harm you. So then Huwait ibn Radiyallahu Anhu was, uh, was calmed and he went to meet with him. And he went to speak with him. And Abu Dhar Radiyallahu Anhu told Huwait ibn Radiyallahu Anhu, why don't you go home? You can go home. And Huwait ibn Radiyallahu Anhu replies, I'm afraid. You know, the, how, how, I don't think I'm going to make it home. You know, I might be killed in the streets. Someone might barge into my home and say there's an order of execution against me and my, my life will be over. And my family has been hidden in different places, so I'm worried how can I gather my family and go home. So Abu Dhar who replies that no one will be harmed except those who Rasulullah Rasul has ordered to be harmed. Gather your family, I will protect you, I will bring you home. So Hazrat Huwait who heard this and he was... He was calmed again and he decided to gather his family and he decided to go home. And Abu Dhar who told the Prophet وسلم, this is what I said. And Rasulullah agreed with him and he said, yes, because the only people who are going to be uh, executed are the people who I ordered. And this again calmed Huwait his heart. So he is a home and now after some time Abu Dhar comes to him again. And he says, 
Huwait, how long are you going to stay like this? You have some, you have some affection towards Islam, you should, you should accept Islam. You've participated in all the battles against the Muslims, you have lost a lot, but there is still a lot for you to gain. Come to Rasulullah accept Islam, you'll be able to live in peace. He's the one who is the most righteous, he's the one who honors family ties, he is the one who is tolerant of all people. His honor is yours and his dignity is yours. So Huwait ibn who agrees and he says, okay, take me to the Prophet I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. And they met Rasulullah at a place called Bataha and Huwait ibn who asked Abu Dar what should I say when I meet the Prophet and he, uh, Abu Dhar responded, Say, Assalamu alaikum, ayyuha nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, which is what we recite in the At-Tahiyyat. And Huwait ibn Zan, who greeted Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with these words, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was very pleased, and he said, Peace to be to you too, Huwait And then Huwait ibn Zan, who recited the Shahada, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam congratulated him, and he said, All praise belongs to Allah, who is the one who guided you. And he was very pleased that uh, Huwait ibn Zayyan who accepted Islam and he uh, actually asked him for a loan. He was one of the people who gave in the path of Allah. He, bar he gave 40,000 dirhams. And he participated in the battles of Hunayn and the battle of Ta'if. And Rasulullah gave him booty in the form of a hundred camels from the battle of Hunayn. So this was the story of Huwait ibn Zayyan who, who was, you know, someone who was again working actively against the Muslims. But Allah gave him a way to accept Islam and become those who helped in the path of Allah, uh, Allah and His Rasul Wasallam. So, you know, what we learn from this is there's always a way to turn our lives around. So may Allah give us the ability to turn our lives around for the better and learn from this story and make changes in our lives so that we can improve and become closer to Allah and His Deen. Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen. Barakallahu wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Azim wa nafa'ni wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikr al-Hakim. Aqool qawli hadha fa astaghfiru Allah li wa lakum wa lisa'il muslimin fa astaghfiru innahu huwa al-Ghafur Rahim. Assalamu alaykum.